Once again, the Free Senior High School policy has come under heavy scrutiny. The flagship policy by the MPP government, which as at 2022 had expended in excess of 10 billion CDs, is yet again a subject of criticism. And the question as to whether the policy should be reviewed or not has reappeared in the trends. You'd recall that aside the many calls for review over the years, the International Monetary Fund, in an attempt to approve the much sought for bailout, added its voice, calling the policy a poorly targeted venture. Even then, there was no sign of review. The Ghana National Association of Teachers has repeated its call for a dialogue to consider a review of the policy. If you look at the 2019 2020 report, it also tells us that. 728,382 children, ages 15 to 17 years, who are supposed to be in SHS, they are not in school. This is the budget. This is not my, this is the 2023 budget. With a promise that we are going to review it and within six weeks, we get it done. Eight months down the line, I have not seen a single review that has been done. Basic school capitation grant is in our for over five terms. How do you improve quality of teaching and learning? The demands based primarily on funding and other concerns have been bagged by educationist Peter Patianti, who has questioned the sustainability of funding the policy. He further says no government policy must be allowed to run for seven years without review. You can't run a policy for almost seven years and you don't have a comprehensive review of the policy that you will share with the general public that states the strengths of the policy, that states the challenges that you have faced throughout the implementation process, and that gives direction as to how the, the policy is going to be carried forward in, 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 the, in the near future. But Education Ministry Piero Kwesi Kwating, in response, has reiterated the popular words of the Education Minister. He says the policy, once not broken, does not need fixing. I'm not sure the whole conversation is a whole review of the whole phrase that just program. If they have a, any issue with regards to a new component, I'm sure they are stakeholders. Like all of us, we are stakeholders. I have brothers and sisters in schools. It would dress you to know that we may even have I mean, uh, our children in school. So it is not as though we, we neglect whatever concern that everybody is saying. But I'm saying that our point is that now that it is not broken, why should we fix something that is not broken? It is unclear whether government will finally heed to the calls of stakeholders in the education sector. But until then, one thing is clear, that they would not relent in their efforts to call for a review. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News.